I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now So I'm counting down the days, counting down the days to get out Cause I need to learn to forget everything that drags me down I need to forget everything Welcome back to another episode of my day to get carp fishing vlogs and as you can see not a lot has changed we're back on Trentview fishery and in the exact same peg I was in episode 2 so uh, we've got four nights ahead of us as you can see the weather's changed drastically since we were last here but I'm just hoping the fish are gonna play ball and we can land some of these absolutely beautiful fish yeah. I can run you guys how I'm going about doing that and yeah I just thought I'd find the time uh, to announce just before I get set up that I'm gonna be running uh, a bait giveaway competition at some point in this episode so stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled for that it's gonna be pretty special it's my first ever giveaway and I'm gonna be giving away uh, over 20 kilo of bait two tubs of up baits and uh, a matching glug as well so yeah keep your eyes out for that it's uh, gonna it's not gonna be at the end of the vlog it's not gonna be at the start so just stay tuned and uh, yeah get yourself entered and best of luck let's get these rods out Guys, that's the the rods all out on the bottom now pretty confident in them to be honest i've seen one fish show since i've been setting up and that were right over to to the right hand side of the swim way out there mid water yeah, i've scanned a few fish with deeper so there's a few fish milling about like i say i, I haven't seen out in the upper layers uh, this morning with the deeper so uh, that's why i've opted to go all out on the bottom baits so we're going to see how this this progresses today see if i uh, see any fish moving and uh, keep flicking that deeper about. Good afternoon guys, I've just uh, woken up from my uh, couple of hours sleep and uh, yeah, nothing to report on them rods, not even a bleed. And uh, as you can see I've got that middle rod in now and um, what I'm opting to do now is switch back to the adjustables which what I was uh, doing on doing well on in the previous episodes a bit. Silly for me to change, I've just wet in the spool and I've noticed all the, all the uh, hatches, you know, in the edge that's blown in, all the hatch casings blowing off this new wind so uh, with all that and seeing all these mozzies and that flying about I just had a big grep had this fly on my hand so there's obviously flies actually so water's warm enough for a, 
fly action. <coughs> um, but yeah, weird. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't have one of them. Uh, tear off just with taking it out with bait boat, but that's how it is. I'm all clipped up anyway at the range that um, I was catching at the previous episode, so uh, this is the middle rod. Half past six now on the first evening, 28th of April, Thursday, and uh, yeah, I've just switched all three round now to the zigs, the adjustable zigs. Yeah, so, yeah. I've got here pretty tired, so I've, I've slunk rods out, put ship two out with the bow, put that one out at short range to the right, and I haven't even had a bleed. Yeah. So what I've done is, like I say, opted to, to use what has been working in the previous episodes. So, exact same baits, 12mm, fully loaded, brown 12mm, pop-ups on them all. But yeah, just about to crack a beer. Cheers. Proper carpet that. Ooh. Get some of these goods. time guys about half past one in the morning now the middle rod's just gone after losing them two fish first one on right and rod second on left we've finally been rewarded happy days so let's get that get that sorted uh, just getting out waiting stuff sorted up there and uh, we'll have a look Get in. Come on, girl. There she is. Take number three of tonight. Um, unfortunately, lost them first two. First one on that right hand rod, and then just due to an up pull at the net, and then uh, that left hand rod, which cut me off, unfortunately. Just on the hook length, but that has um, got me back in the game, as it were. So uh, happy with that bad boy. Chunk of a Trent View mirror. Defo some potentially named Fat as a Pig. Twenty pounds, two ounce. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. So uh, yeah, twelve millimeter urban baits, fully loaded. Just a bull's egg again. Just quickly show you the other side. Come on, girl. What a cracking looking fish. That second one I lost as well, just before it cut me off. That was a good one, man. But they all do when you lose them. Come on, don't you splash my screen. Whoa. Cracking fish to start episode three. Should have had three by now, but we'll take that. Let's get a couple of stills and uh, hope there's more to come tonight. Absolutely made up.
straight carnage. 20 past 4 in the morning and uh, I've just had the second fish fourth run and uh, while well, I've, I've that, got that middle rod straight back out on that on the money and uh, it's ripped off again so we've got two puppies got a nice scaly mirror in there and an angry mirror over there so yeah let's get these sorted and uh, yeah think about getting them rods up back out I think because uh, yeah that one wiped out my left hand rod as well so let's get these sorted we'll get them rods back out try and get some kip happy days and the first fish of the brace I've just had this morning and a very angry fat Trent View mirror calf another one on the middle rod second fish on that middle rod not long after getting this fish I unhooked it in the net um, because they're, up, they're crashing like mad out there, I can hear them like, they're like chuffing cows. I thought I'd uh, try and make the best of uh, a good situation. Got the rod back out and uh, it screamed off again in literally about five minutes of sorting it out. That one's in the net and that's a real nice scaly one. So uh, I'll quickly show you the other side of this fella and um, we'll send him on his way. Oh yeah man, absolutely made up with him. Fought like hell, another one on them adjustable zigs. Um, urban baits, 12mm, fully loaded. Matched with that fully loaded bait spray. It's just absolutely killing it at the minute. Just check that puppy out. Awesome fish. Oh, let's get some snappies and show you that other one. Second fish, 17 pound, eight ounce. Get her back, what a lovely fish. Well guys, just check this puppy out. There she is. Second part of that brace head on that middle rod. Just after getting it back out after unhooking that one that I've just showed you. And boy were it worth it for that fella. Get in. Absolutely buzzing with that. Just slightly bigger than that other one. 17 pounds, 10 ounce. So two ounce bigger, but wow, like peas in a pod. Just check out them scales, man. That's why we come to Trent View. Not the biggest, but he's absolutely blown me away. And uh, yeah, man, they're still crashing out there. Now I've just heard another one. It's about 10 past five now in the morning and I haven't had much kip. But for puppies like that, makes it all the worthwhile let's just show you this other side because this one's a bit nicer in long lean Trent view machine absolutely over the moon I think it's time now so I've got two rod I've only got one, one rod fishing two rods out of the water now yeah it's about time to get this guy back get a couple of snaps get them rods back out and hope that there's more of these bad boys to come get in there Get that absolute beauty back, just check out that. What an epic fish. Let's see what already at you mate. Get in. 
ma finally managed to get them rods sorted and back out after sorting them two fish out of that brace that I had and uh, as you can see it's light, uh, 20 to 6 in the morning now, Friday morning, what an eventful night that was, five runs, three fish so I'll take that, uh, I was a bit despondent going into going into nightfall after losing them two, one after another, first two fish as well, it's not the best but persistence has paid off but now I'm going to um, sort rods right now sorted, I'm going to uh, get back in the sleeping bag now and try and get a few hours kip because uh, a couple of my mates that I know are coming today so I'm sure they're going to be coming round to annoy me and what have you so uh, yeah without further ado let's get back in that fart sack <sighs> buzzing boys come on three fish already and uh, yeah we've still got three more nights to go so yeah let's get it <sighs> tired <laughs> Fish on. Mm. It's just slow and heavy. I want this one. It's about 20 to 10. What a right sleep. I can't believe that one that boshed. Literally boshed. 40 out of that. Straight where I put that bait. Yesterday. Mm. Again guys, same principle I showed you in the first episode, but I'll show you again. So I've got that middle rod out now on the spot where I wanted it. Hit the clip lovely. And now I've op I've tightened down to the lead, opened the bail arm, and now you can see that line's just steadily stripping off there. And uh, when that stops, you know, your float's on the water surface, and you tighten down to your float when you think it's not taking line anymore. Um, like usually you want to be able to see it out there but I've got be I've got um used to you know the touch of it and what what have you so um I can like I've got a feel for it as you can see it's nearly at just got to the top now so I'll do close the bail out right now tighten down a little bit until you feel the tension in the line it's just like a marker float but obviously it's a bit harder because it's mono so still feel a bit of tension in that and now obviously look it's slack so obviously it's not taking any line a little bit right i know that that is just about on the surface now it's not it's not tight but it's not loose so i know that it's just on the top and if you if you do get the binoculars and, and look like 
and then you get get the feel that you'll you'll understand what I mean by gauging the yeah, feel because when you're doing it in the night obviously you can't see that marker no. float I've uh, mentioned this like I said in the first vlog what I do is I tie my zig rig from what, my 50 mil butt ring to my reel see just there so oh, yeah. my zig rig is that length so when now that I know that that's on the surface so when I grab my line from the tip ring pull it back keeping it then grabbing your other line with that and spinning the clutch because you want that line going on nice and taut if you can you don't want any stupid rings in there keep your finger on, on the line from the ring like I showed you and then reel that back and now my hook length is exactly from there to there under the surface so my hook bait's either just on the surface or just below what I've been doing as well this session um, I've actually been fishing mid water out there Oop. 10 foot in 20 foot of water out there that's that and that's what's been getting me all the runs uh, last night I fished for about three hours nothing woke up at about half ten and I pulled my right hand rod down from eight foot to ten foot and then I started getting bites so I've switched all the other rods to that and yeah so far so good but yeah let's sort that out now so now in foot sections i'll pull this down so gauging that to a foot roughly um obviously i've got no marker but that's about a foot and um pull that down 10 times and i know that, that is 10 foot below the surface out there and it's 20 foot at 20 foot of water so yeah mid water one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get that on there, and that is fishing. Beautiful. Happy days. Now I need to recast this right, left hand rod. Well, morning. And uh, this was my wake up call. After that proper hectic night last night. Been rewarded with another Trent View banger. Just check that out. Absolute beauty. 19 pound on the dot. So, ah. Uh, I'm having a mega session man, I'm absolutely loving it. Mega session, six runs in first 24 hours. Four fish landed all on that middle rod. So it looks like I've got um, a lucky rod going. But just check out that fish man. Absolute tucker fish. 19 pound again, not the biggest, but what a looker. There's a bit of damage on this, this side, I'll show you now. So I'm gonna treat him with a bit of propolis. Fat as a pig. And while I was fighting that fish on the GoPro this morning, I don't know if you saw, but one, one showed right over that bait that I'd put out over a spot to right, uh, 40 yard out. But yeah, you can just see that slight bit of damage at the top there. It's got a bit of a scale missing. So I'm gonna treat that, get a couple of snaps, slip him back. Happy days, man. Mwah. Thank you, my friend. What a fish. Yes. So I'll get that fucker fish back, like I said. Bit of the old cord of propolis on, it, on that missing scale. Fish number four, sixth run, fourth fish. Um, but it's looking like I might have to get to the tackle shop today. First of all though, it's brew time. 
and a bit of breakfast. Just top tip. Bang into it. Quick and easy breakfast. Take no more nonsense. Mark Lewis, this fish showing in front of me, aim in 24. I will do. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, that one. Boom. Alright. Bye, bye. Yeah. Get out there. That would have got him. <laughs> First part of course from our beer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Side it, check. Now it's top. Stay away, for God's sake. Did you on that car, buddy? Not yet, nearly. Nearly? Right. Oh, Jack. Uh, 5794 Olympic. Shot, man. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Are you documenting your life, mate? I am, mate. Yep, yeah, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, no worries, mate. Thank you very much, Dave. Nice one, fella. Thank you very much. Have a good one. See you later. Alright, let's get back to the lake. Get them back out. What a day. Alright, guys, just got back from the tackle shop. And, uh, yeah, pure essentials. Uh, these aren't so essential. Well, just scribble that name out. There were no um, cord ones, unfortunately, and that best I could get. So, um, yeah, we've got fox zig floats. Don't know what they're like, never tried them. Not a fan of fox gear, to be fair, but if it comes to it, we're going to have to use them. I've just got back, literally, um, sorting, sorting on my line out. I've just uh, took out line off one reel and I've seen three fish bosh in like literally 20 minutes, so yeah, all ones on deck. Let's get my big pit. Stuff like distance fishing like this. Um, I normally use the, the Gardner GR60, but that wasn't in stock in that tackle shop, unfortunately, so um, needs must have had to go for the for the new corded long chuck, um, which has just come out, I think, and it's uh, near enough same diameter as what I use, but only difference is it's low stretch so it might be a bit more uh, sensitive and better for casting obviously hence the name long chuck so I'm gonna get them spooled up now and get them rods fired straight back out I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna do tonight I might just fish the left and middle on zig fish that um, spot that I baited because like I said this morning when I just netted that fish and sorting that out I seen I seen a fish boss straight over yeah, it they've so. obviously been on that spot because it was literally over it what so. I'm gonna do is get these re-spooled get the zig back out get a mix knocked up and I'm gonna fire about 15 spawns maybe maybe 20 you know a fish just topped out there straight towards that pile on 40 yard out it's 20 um, i've never fished in that depth of water but so it's something new for me day number two and it's about five o'clock now and uh yeah we're re-spooled with that new cord along chuck line and yeah it's 
so far so good absolutely flying out there um, so yeah that, that, that is cracking happy with that glad I respooled and now uh, we're fishing we've been showing all of us I'm gonna get a mix sorted now and uh, top up uh, that margin uh, rod that I saw him showing over this morning and uh, I've always got that backup option of putting a, a bottom bait rod out but yeah I'm pretty confident for tonight to be honest man <sighs> come on let's hope we get one of them big pigs tonight I'm just gonna knock a quick mix up now, just yeah. just some uh, Angling Direct hemp pellet and GLM pellet. So, and then obviously the reins that I've been using, the new fully loaded. Just look how soft they are, absolutely wicked, and. Uh, I'm going to be crushing up about maybe a kilo of boilies, a few old. Um, got a fresh fully loaded glug there, some two mil fully loaded pellets and a few spicy fish. So let's get it sorted. morning so if uh, I do struggle on this right hand rod tonight I am not gonna hesitate to getting it on that spot now barbecues on Whoa, Chinese chicken on the right and on the left just normal tonight and then I've got a nice steak burger as well from the butcher come on Whoa. you what baby Wow, it's getting hot. Bloody hell. Fucking hell, that's hot. Whoa. At least it'll cook. Oh, fuck me. Get that bad boy back on. Whoa. Well, coming into second evening now. Uh, wow, looks good out there. There's fish showing all over us. Um, yeah, another one out there. Nearly bang on that left hand rod, that one. So there's fish everywhere, and I just cannot believe that one ain't gone today, to be honest. But that's just how it is, I suppose. Got me um, last bit of kit on barbecue for tonight. I've had four chicken skewers, and now I'm on a steak burger. And that is nearly ready. As you can see, it's a lot different conditions tonight than it was last night. I'm guessing it's going to be freezing tonight. Change your clothes after my um, food. Get freshened up. Get some thermal joggers on, I think. But yeah, it's getting down to about two, I think, tonight. Let the barbecue die down. A bit of a mozzy deterrent because we're absolutely terrible last night in these trees. Morning, guys. Not a lot for me to report last night, unfortunately. But on the up hand, I did get a good night's kip after that busy night, that first night. So. Can't believe I, I don't really. I uh, woke up this morning at about half past eight, man. But yeah, I'm feeling re recharged, refreshed, and we're ready for them. I've just uh, recast them all and changed them uh, from mid depth because that's what I've been catching. I don't know if I've mentioned. I, I started fishing them at, I think, 
what were it, four foot, six foot and eight foot um, and I hadn't had a sniff on them on them depths so I took them down another two foot and just as I did that on the, on the eight foot eight foot one it ripped off just as I was walking back to the bivvy after it had been out probably two three hours um, so that little slight adjustment told me that we were in mid-depth so I changed all the other rods to to ten foot mid-depth twenty foot so ten to ten down it's maybe just above mid-range but not a lot and uh, yeah I've had all six takes ten downs so. what I've done this morning is because I've seen oh, the one's just boshed out there but yeah I've seen them they're showing all over man so what I've done is I've ro rose them obviously conditions have tra changed drastically since we first yeah. arrived so what I'm gonna do now this morning um, left on two foot below right on two foot and then the middle rod on three and uh, we're just gonna play about with them I think today Finally, right and rod. We need this fish boys, come on. Uh, looks like that change of depth on them adjustables this morning has worked. Obviously, change of conditions, sun. I've put drone up this morning and seen that they've been right up in water. So yeah man, let's get this in, let's concentrate now, bringing it some big boils, I ain't really seen it to be honest. Worst thing you can do at this stage is rush. Come on, Bobby. Does not want to give in at all. Get in that net, come on. Oh, happy days. Oh, he'll do. Have a nice leather, like it looks. Banger. Get in. Yes. Seven front, fifth fish, come on. Nice leather in that net, soaking. Right hand rod as well. That's one of them rods that I lost the fish on. Um, in fact, that was the first take I had on that right hand rod. So uh, there's my redemption fish. Get in. Another one on the adjustable. You can see he's not happy. Okay, with this. Um, weather this morning I've opted to change round and bring the zigs um, just below surface and uh, I went this morning to two, two foot below and then from then I went to four and bang ripped off and it's not long since I've changed that depth so yeah man buzzing with that so yeah we'll get this fish sorted and uh, show you one then look Matt
absolutely made up. 17 pounds on the bottom. I woke up pretty gutted. But yeah, man. Another Larry the Lever. 17 pounds on the button. Another absolute Trent view. Banger. The stamp of fish are just insane. You just never know what you're going to get next. It's just insane fishing. Freezing cold night last night. I've adjusted the zigs to two foot. Um, gave them an hour, nothing. Then changed to four foot and bang. We've got that bad boy. Cracking fish. Just quickly show you the other side. Proper, proper nice fish. We'll take him for number five. Yeah, fifth fish landed. And uh, yeah, that's my redemption fish for losing that first fish on that rod. Slipper back and hope for some more today. Get in. Well, good afternoon guys, and uh, yeah, you join us midway through his uh, session now on Trent View Fishery, and uh, I thought, yeah, what perfect time to announce this bait giveaway competition that I'm going to be yeah. running. It's quite a, a good prize, it's my first ever giveaway, and uh, I think it's only right for all the, all the support and that that you guys have given me over the years. Yeah, my channel's been growing like crazy, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. There's a, first, there's a few things you've got to do for this one. Um, firstly, what does it get you? Now, um, I don't know if you know, but recently I've joined Monster Particle Bait Team. I'm also part of uh, the Urban Baits Team, which I've been for a few years now. I'm going to be giving away um, 10 kilo of the fully lo Urban Baits fully loaded bait range, 5 kilogram of the 14 millimeter shelf life boilies. There's also going to be a 5 kilo bag of the Urban Baits pellets in 2 mil or 6 mil, you can decide. And I'm going to be also giving away two matching hook baits. So the fully loaded hook baits and a matching glug as well. And also, I'm going to be giving away 10 kilogram of the Monster Particle Monster Mix. To be in with the chance of winning this, what you've got to do? There's a few things. Firstly, you've got to have liked all my fishing linked social media accounts. So my Facebook account, my Instagram account. You've got to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You've got to drop this video a like down below. And then, last but not least, I'm going to flash a picture now of um, carp I got on the drone a couple of weeks back when I was actually in this same peg 46 um, in episode 2 and uh, I was actually going to run the competition then but I got that caught up with fishing and I, I didn't realise that I was going to be here so soon I didn't get around to announcing it then guess how many carp are in this drone picture now So yeah, there you go, you've had a good look at that but yeah, that's all you've got to do so like all my fishing link pages like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below how many carp are in that drone um, picture. And then in a month's time from the release date of episode three, I'm going to be announcing the winner. So um, I hope you're lucky. Um, so yeah, get commenting and uh, yeah, best of luck. I reckon it's going fucking mid 20 again. That's 20, yeah. 24, 25. That's a good fish, that. You want me to grab that? Nail, bro. Fucking. Past us then, mate. Fucking. Things only hanging off his jacket, bro. Four steps. Ah, big mat. 23, 14, is it? Yeah, man. That is what we want to see, in it? Puck up his dude. Here. Well in, mate. Proper one, that, innit? Want him fight that, can't have been. It's one of them things, mm. innit? Yeah. Just wipe, just uh, dab it. Yeah, man. Just lay it a bit. Just lay it down a bit. Nice. 
Nice, nice condition fish though, isn't it? That's it. Proper nice fish. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, baby. That seal's it. Got one at oh, Nash. for fuck's sake. Got one at Nash boys on it here. <laughs> nah, that sealed it. No, I thought it was from NGT. That sealed it. Hey! <laughs> 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 hey, slug it back. Yeah, man, well in, Matt. Cunt, I've just fucking done that. Get in, Matt. Get on the urbans. Get on the RG, pal. Come on, then, Bobby. I'll sit here in a few here. Go and tell him over. Go and tell him over. Go on. Go on, Bobby. Go on, Cocker. Get on. Well, in, brother. Get in. Well, you join us back in a swim now. Uh, I've gone to see a few lads that I know as you've saw. Um, Matt caught that absolutely banging 24, 14 I think it was. Just under 25 pounds, scaly mirror. Banging fish that was, so it was nice to go see that fish. See a few lads. Uh, yeah, it's five o'clock now. Uh, what is it, Saturday the 30th of April. So, um, as you can see, we've got two rods out there at the minute. And um, what I'm doing now um, is um, I'm going to flick about with the deeper. Um, maybe think about putting um, a bait on the bottom tonight because... Uh, he, he caught that today on the bottom. A mesh bag just cast out of, of a shum showing fish. Right, we've got a bit of rain coming in tonight, overcast conditions. I'm going to keep them two out, I think, on the zigs tonight and uh, put that one out on the bottom. Uh, what I've been baiting for the previous two days and just see what happens, really. It's 19, 20 foot, so it's not really a shell for anything, it's just close in. I'm feeling it. So, uh, yeah, let's get that sorted and um, get it kitted out for tonight. Come on the car. Well, we're coming into the third night now. And, uh, I ain't a lot to report, and as you can see, weather conditions have changed again drastically. Sun's gone away now, and it's come cloud covered. And tonight there's uh, forecast rain, so what I've opted to do is have two on the zigs, the left and middle, keep them on the adjustables. Yeah. I've put that right and on that baited spot, and uh, I've shipped it out with bait. Uh, but the so. final barbecue of the session on. And I don't want to burn them because they're going absolutely nuts. But yeah, man, hopefully tonight we'll get a big one. Uh, I've just heard from that guy to the left, he's been down there, and there's been a 29 out and a couple more. Uh, I think all to zigs as well, so yeah, it's looking good, man. Right, guys, that's barbecue done, and we're just settling in for the third night now. And, uh, that right and rod's set, but I'm uh, gonna recast that left and middle rod. That are on them zigs. Yeah, I'm fairly confident for tonight. Looking cracking conditions, fairly similar to that first night. And uh, hopefully, um, we get that 25 plus, maybe even uh, edges better towards the 30. But out of a 26 pound, would be more than happy because that's um, our biggest out of here yet. So that's what's to be. And uh, hopefully, tonight is the night. So I'm going to get them zigs rechucked now. Hopefully, next time you see me, is uh, with a nice uh, hammer. Just check that puppy out, and that is my new personal best ghost carp coming in at a whopping 28 pounds, two ounce. Just check him out, man. No wonder he fought so hard. I thought, Christ, why ain't this guy giving in? And uh, yeah, I think that's the reason. What an absolute unit of a Trent View carp that is. My biggest out of Trent View. Uh, yet of my campaign. Pfft, just check out that gut on that puppy. It's a proper, proper nice fish. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Adjustable zig rig, left hand rod. Ba bang. 12 millimeter urban baits fully loaded. Just keep giving, doesn't it? Oh, I'll show you that other side. Yes. 
absolutely made up with her. Fought like hell, left hand rod, 90 yard out, about 21 foot of water I think it is out there. Yeah, absolutely wicked. What an epic fish. Let's get some stills and get her back. Number seven now, 19 pounds, two ounce. Get in. After catching that last comment, I thought it were a low double. But yeah, that'll do. Another scaly banger, Trent View Beauty. This looks nice, this looks like he's got a few stories to tell. But yeah, man, uh, got that common. Obviously, an up to internet, like I normally do get it back straight on that spot because uh, it might only be a short window of them fish passing through your swim and uh, you want to make the most of it and uh, this is another puppy that slipped up on them uh, adjustable zigs and them urban baits fully loaded so uh, happy days quickly show you them other side the scales missing unfortunately again I'll treat it with polish before I put it back but due to them jumping out and stuff I think that's what it's uh, that's what's happening. Yeah, man. Ooh. I'm gonna sit straight. 19 pounds, two ounce. Left hand rod again. Let's get a couple of snaps of this baby. Treat them scales there that you can see on this flank. And uh, try and get some kip. Ah, thank you, darling. Well, good morning. You join us on the fourth morning. Eventful night that was. New personal best ghosty for me. Absolute solid fish that one, it boys. I just can't believe it. I mean, it just keeps giving this place. To be honest, I didn't even know there were any um, ghosties in here. Yeah, I'm not usually a fan of them, to be honest, but that were a belting fish. Looked like it had never seen a chuffy nook. Brew on and um, spam sandwiches for this morning. So yeah. Pretty, pretty hungry after last night's uh, antics. Not a lot to report on that. 
on that baited spot that I've been uh, at for a few days, you know, baiting and what have you. So I think um, the last 24, I'm going to go all out uh, on the adjustables uh, because they're obviously working. Not a sniff on that middle rod last night, which was weird. All, all to that left-hand rod, five foot under yesterday. Yeah. It's just all about finding the depth that they're cruising about at. I've um, found that helps me a lot in this adjustable zig fishing is the is the deeper chirp plus that I've been using just to really scan what depths the fish are at. That's, that's one of the main main attributes of it, I think. Um, because uh, the first night when I scanned, uh, I, I noticed that they were all hugging the bottom, so uh, I went ten foot down, so like mid depth, and that's what started. That's what worked for me at the start. Um, after after trying shallower zigs, you know like four foot, two foot down below surface and nothing was working. As soon as I changed, bang, just and just the exact same. So the 10, the 10 foot downs were working and uh, I've brought them up even more and uh, they've started working again. So it's all about chopping and changing. And if you do find a depth that they are at, then maybe, maybe stick to that and change all your other rods to it and uh, go from there. Uh, I'm gonna get this, these spam butties on now because I'm absolutely starving. I've got no oil at all. So I might have to go on the talk, but we'll see. Hopefully, we get a few. Uh, we we'll get a few today. It's looking uh, good conditions. It's going to be warm again today and tonight. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, it's going to be good tonight. Over overcast conditions, as you can see. Uh, quickly uh, check the weather. Yeah, it's going to start raining a bit later on. But yeah, man, it's looking good. Looking proper good. Right, let's get these uh, buttons on. Nice one. I'll take him. What are you saying? I'm saying. 23, 24? No. You think? Get scales out. I don't know. Fucking hell, it's got scales coming out of fucking scales, that. Banger. Just moved, look. Just moved. Get in. Moved onto him. Fucking loads of fish. There we go. Oh, no. 24 pound. Yeah, man. Bang off a Ross. Yeah. just moved in this peg. Yeah, it's bagger. Blanking two nights. Fucking 20 minutes. 24 pound. Eh? Get in. Oh, move were worthwhile then, but mucker on it. Bang on, mate. Get in. Let's get a bat. Get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is good to that. <laughs> Done it, George. Completed it. Oh, oh man. George, yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, really. yeah that's good to it. 100%. Got to be. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same that, Dan. What are you saying? Anyone got a bar? We have zero of them to the west slinger. Anyone got a bar? Oh, <laughs> yeah, she's on the water. Is that zero? 40, yeah. 43, 44, 43, 8. I'd say 43 and a half, mate. 43 and a half. That's it, Yeah. 
Well, what do you call it? Get bar. Get bar. Yeah, get a bar, yeah. <laughs> Fucking get yeah, ready, mate. Where's well in. in. Let's get some buckets of water, lads. Yeah, in fact, go on. Let's get him dreadled. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking blend on. Oh, we need more than that. No, we're going to need more than that, lads. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, mate. Yeah, fair play. Wow. 44. 44. Yeah. All agreed. Oh, oh mate, well oh, in. Fucking. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm my sure fucking God. Come on, mate. For this, mate. Good fucking belly. Now, book it for him. Do you really think I'm fucking bothered about him? Thank you. Come all the way down. All the way down. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's not until you get some of the off the ground you realise how bad it is. Good lad. Oh, mate. Come on, sling that. No, leave it there, mate. <laughs> If you drop it, you'll drop it on bar it. Oh, mate, that is a serious fish. Wow. Man, oh, it's it's got to go to sail these fish. Uh, All right. Let's get some water to water shots. 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 Let's get some water Alright. Got a spinner. Yeah, a spinner, yeah. Try to get some water on it. Look at guff on it. Look at white tips. Get the buckets out. Buckets! Hey, I've got this on her. I've got this on her. Fill that bucket for me. Hey, I've got this on her. I've got this on her. Fill that bucket for me. Hey, I've got this on her. Fill that bucket for me. Hey, I've got this on her. Fill that bucket for me. Hey, I've got this on her. Yeah. Well in, George. Well in, fella, that's a belter. I'll get down low. <laughs> Oh yeah, girl, a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Just don't fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck off. <laughs> what a boy, man. That is a belter. Number bucket. Do not fuck off. Go on, George, yeah. Come on, son. Oh, she's getting fucked off now. Go on, lad. Oh. Can't get it right. Come on, baby. Oh. Get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of the drop thing. That's it. <laughs> oh, what a fish, George, yeah? Here we go. <laughs> Fuck me. Amazing. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Hey. Yes. Oh. Go on, go. That is a beast, mate. That's definitely good, Alright, wow. There you go. Let's get it free. Send it our way. Oh, my God. Go on. <laughs> Yes! Get in! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that fresh? <laughs> Bit of an update now, off the gutsy. Um, just going to see me right now. Shit me up there. <laughs> Get on, yeah. Bobby. What? That's how we do it, boys. Get a bit. This yeah. is Ross. Right. This is how you front phone. Just got your fucking hard then, didn't I? Say, sorry, I'm fucking late, Bobby. Yeah, that's well, good evening. And, um, yeah. Talk about magic or what. 
but that is my first ever UK 40 that I've ever even seen and uh, what a what an absolute beast of a fish that was biggest in the lake 44 pound on the dot the fish name known as Gutsit and uh, yeah one of the bailiffs from the bailiff swim so yeah well deserved that man I think his PB previous to that was 27 pound something like that so that's a bit of a bit of a swap but yeah man what a cracker absolutely just I'm glad I went to the toilet just just when I did yeah. it's looking it's looking good for tonight I've just got back from farm shop and uh, I've got me and my mate a, a ham salad cob that he recommended and it was absolutely bob on yeah rods have uh, been out about an hour while I've been uh, having that down in um, peg 43 but while I've got back there's so, fish showing all um, over um, but I think now what I'm going to do now I'm back is reset them and uh, have them about a foot under the surface just for an hour maybe and then just take them down a foot at a time until I find that winning um, depth yeah I'm going to get that done and get some zigs tied for tonight because I'm, uh, I'm pretty hopeful for the last night and I want to be prepared and ready if it does kick off Another tip of mine, just always be prepared, especially in conditions like this where you're uh, paying £25 a night and stuff like that. It's like, people might think, well, why do you chuff in, unhook it in net and, and you know, get it back out on spot? It's because when I've been doing it, you, you might only have a short window of opportunity when them fish are passing through your swim. Obviously, this time of year, they're more scattered about, but in in the springtime when you're first starting on the zigs, um, uh, like I did in the March, the first episode, like, like you saw in that drone footage, um, that I'm running with that bait competition. There's, they're just stacked up um, in a big great shoal, and as it warms up, they start to spread about. So it's um, you need to be ready in on them. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get get them uh, tied up now and uh, get sorted for tonight. And hopefully, last night is a good night. See the one just top there, look. Not far out at all, in fact that's basically where I've put that bait last night. But for tonight, I'm going uh, all guns blazing on the zigs, as you can see I've got a nice fan. It's a good peg, this 46 you've got. Oop, wrong way, but yeah, you've got a lot of room in this peg. Oh, I thought it was that, it were a coat. But uh, yeah, they are out there, but what I think I'll probably do is um, get some zigs tied and uh, I might have a few casts with deeper just to try and uh, determine uh, what depths they're at. Uh, I'll take them back up to a foot below, or below the surface um, and yeah, tie some rigs up and then get deeper out and see what's what. So let's get that sorted. I'm uh, going about tying my zig rigs and um, uh, I'm sure you're aware I showed you in the first episode but if not, if you want to skip through this bit by all means go for it but if not then uh, this is what I'm uh, going about doing. There's my storage system, plain and simple NGT bad boy. Don't need no special, but just check that out. Prepare to fail or fail to prepare, that's what I always say. And uh, we've got a selection of colours as you can see there, yellow, red, but as you can see, opting for mainly the black. Um, and it's just always nice having something to put your zigs ready to go because yesterday, just getting out on the spot I tangled, chuffing four times and I went through four zigs. For the end tackle, what you'll need. What I use for my um, hook length, you can see there, I'll show you on the GoPro. And uh, is the Corda Zig Line 11 pound. To be honest, I've only just started using these, but um, we're gonna give these a go because a mate of mine, Ross, has been catching quite well on these. And uh, they are the Nash Floater Claw. Nice seven there, nice hook there, they look great. But what I have been using, if you saw in that first episode, is the Corda Mixer Size 6. Uh, see, I'm just trying something a bit different, really. Uh, then we're running down to the aligner that I'm using. As you can see, I'm opting mainly for the for the black bank tackle nymph aligner. And uh, we've got yellow, red, they do all the sorts of different colours. What? They're the end tackle that you're gonna need. Then you need, then you need a baiting needle, pull a tool, Obviously your hook bait, which is going to be the all-important urban baits, fully loaded, 12mm that I've been bait spraying for a few weeks now. Absolutely insane. All fish I've had in uh, in these three episodes have been on them, uh, bar from one that I lost on a bright pink spicy fish, which I think I told you about last time we were in this peg. Uh, so yeah, get your hook length and start by tying just a simple over on knot, nice and small. Just for your bait, stop to go through. You pull it all. It's always important with this corder. Uh, well, any zig line, really, I've found. 
because it's really it tends to come loose quite often so give it just a nice decent tug down and and make sure you moisten it obviously before doing so because you don't want to damage it so we've got a nice it's tiny over on knot simple as that see it there and now what i'll do is just to get that hair bad boy length and bang on thread my pop on and then you've already got your bait ready to go as well unless you unless you're storing them in your um zig case so bang that on and then what I do is, I pull about an arm's length out, which is more than enough, cut that, get my hook, thread that, try not to get them pop-ups away, so I put them down. Length now, so you thread your hook on like normal. And what I like to do is get my hook and start your wrapping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then I like to go up just to, if you go up the shank of the hook, if you see, I wrap it like a normal hook length, but I go up the up the shank a few times and that just stops that um, a liner moving about when you uh, cast out or catch a fish. And it just gives it a bit more life. So just straight bog bog standard um not share that there you go it's about really tight to that back shank there you can see no really special about that and now all you do is get your um nymph liner thread it down red first obviously They're awesome these, i found with zigs, I've never been confident in zigs and every time I put one out with this bad boy on, the hook holds are insane. I always tend to wet the wet it before I put it on as well, it just gives it a bit more life and stops it stretching out a bit and I push that so it's nice. Absolutely deadly, you can see if that's just up off at bottom how that's going to sit. Killer. Absolute killer. And then what I've been doing with that is um, just spraying it with the bait spray. Obviously, it sits like that. Absolutely killer out there. And you like I say, I'm yet to catch a fish on them. Them new um, Nash floater claws, but they look absolutely excellent. And I and I'm guarantee you that they're going to catch me a good fish. But just that, that is plain and simple take two minutes to tie and then what I'm going to show you now is how I go about gauging the length of my um, adjustable zig rig from when I take the float under and how I know what depth I'm fishing in. So yeah we've got us rig now that you've just seen me tie there and then what I do is get my hook first get it onto my first uh, ring 50 mil bring it back to there hold it there and I know that that length so if I bring it back from there to there my rig is under the water so what I'll do is hold that there grab that like that big over on double knot figure of eight loop knot not as neat as I like it like, but just moisten that down nice big knot because I like using a nice um, anti-tangle just bite that Check that that's a nice, nice length. Absolutely perfect. Happy days. Well, bit of an update, guys. I've just been fucking about with drone and uh, middle rod's gone. Lost it. It's kited about 60 yards to my left. But yeah, it's gone. But yeah, let's get Rob back out. Oh man, I'm pretty gutted about that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, What's that now? Uh, I've had 10 runs, seven fish. Ah. Oh. God, got in. I wanted uh, my target 10 fish really, and uh, that'd have been the eighth. With uh, the clock ticking, we've we've not got long left now. Yeah. It's about half eight, I reckon eight. But yeah, we've got curry tonight. Curry rice poppadoms. I'm gonna get a takeaway, but I ain't reeling in and uh, going to get it. So I'm gonna keep rods out and have a have a tin curry. Last night they're in front of me, obviously. So middle rod about three foot under, uh, I think it was two and a half, three foot. Live and direct, is that on bottom bait, yeah? 
Yeah, it is. RG. Yeah, RG I'm killing doing. it again. RG. Well, shall I move up back for you? Yeah, you can. Just take, take the llama. Yeah? Yeah. Get in, brother. Just take it steady. No rush. I've just fucking rushed that cunt in and lost it. I'll let you do it on us, mate. I don't want to fucking... There's some shit in here. There's leads and lot. Eh. Is it? My man knows the score. Unhook it in the net. Make the most of it. Get that rod back out. Get on, Ross, lad. Go on, Rossy boy. Danny boy. Yeah. This goes on there. What are we saying? I, I'm going to say 23. Oh. 23. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 23. 23, mate. Get in. <laughs> Funny gun. Cheers, Danny boy. Come on, pal. I'm going to get that stuff. Oh, it's a belt that way. A bit lower. That's right, wait. Oh, oh shit, no. Oh, that would just as it flipped. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Bobby. Be a good one. Scaly banger. There's some wax on it. Scaly banger. Oh, on my head. No, on face. Oh, mate, that was sick. Wait, hold it on. Do you want me to do some other picture of the side and then you know, we need to hold it on that side? We'll have it, we'll have it. No yeah. Terry Earns. <laughs> hold it right. <laughs> And then you need to hold that other side up for the vlog, Ross. No, why? It looks banging. You keep doing vlog. Shut up. It's a bit gay, isn't it, Dad? It's gay, it's gay, it's all that, man. Gay, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> that looks sick, mate. Well. Are we doing it well? Right, come on, hold it up. Yeah, it's done, it's up. No, we've had us picks, now we'll get the video yeah, bit. Hurry up then. How big? How big? Uh, 23 pound. Banging, show us the other side. That's better than that one. Oh Scott's god. his brother, is what it is. It's a banger, mate, well in. Look at that. Proper banger, Ross, mate, well in, fella. Let's get it back. Happy days. Is that your PB? Yeah, mate, PB, yeah. PB. Mate. <laughs> Might do a bit of drop shot in it, Margin. <laughs> what next to that dead carp? Yeah. That'll bring Pike in, won't it? Yeah, that? Hold that one up. Oh, brace. Oh, brace. You've had a brace bit with that dead carp. You know what, a brace? The yeah. brace bit, yeah. See you later, Bobby. Hashtag NGT. Hey, you. Well, good evening, guys. Just coming into the final evening now on uh, episode three of my day to carp fishing vlogs campaign. And uh, yeah, what a cracking session it's been. And I'm just hoping tonight it's uh, going to kick off a bit. I just saw um, my mate just down bank from me. Had that lovely 23 pounder. But yeah, the bastard was supposed to be getting me uh, a takeaway tonight, but he forgot. So uh, it's tin curry and um, rice and poppadoms. But that's not a bad thing, because I'm absolutely starving. And it's a beef madras, m and &S. I'm looking forward to that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get on with that, crack on with that. It's uh, it's pretty much dark now. I'll just uh, pan you around, see if you can see. Yeah, you can. So I've had ten runs, seven fish so far. So I'm just hoping tonight we can uh, pick a few off. I've got all three the zigs tonight. Hopefully next time you see me, I've got a whacker. Let's get that curry on. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven and a half. Thirty-seven and a half. Yeah. yeah. Thirty-seven and a half. Sorry, girl. Right, that's and good. that's got what? That's got sling to the duck, yeah. 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 Right, Someone bring me a lot. <laughs> ah, big Ross. Uh, well, we're at thirty-three. Thirty-three pound. Buzzing. Absolutely, well it. <laughs> Come Legend, oldest teddy bro. 
<laughs> Wicked, bro. Do you want to just show us the other side as well, mate? Yeah, go on. Yeah, man, nice one. <laughs> Call the bucket up. Is it waterproof? Yeah. <laughs> come out. Come out, girl. Good girl. Wicked Ross, mate. Well in, pal. Wicked fish, mate. Well deserved. Some hard work, mate. Two days blanking, haven't you done? Yeah, man. Two days blanking. Move today and bang. Look at that. Third fish, is it? Third, uh, second, last two. Oh, lost two. No. Yeah, third, isn't it? Is it third? Yeah, it's third. Fish, yeah, you've had two twenties yeah. on that. Yeah. Third fish. Well in, pal. Good angling, mate. Good angling. Let's get her back. My lad, okay. well in. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, fish number eight, and uh, yeah, we just had a double take on uh, night four. Just after taking a hand, um, this is a proper whappy, angry little common 14 pound, 14 ounce middle rod. This one, same tactic. Fully loaded, urban baits, adjustable zig, and the boshing like crazy out there. So uh, hopefully we're gonna have a busy night. No. Let's hope they keep coming. A couple of stills, and let's show you that other one. Thank you, darling. Check that bad boy out 21 pound four ounce. Another one fall into that magical adjustable zig rig. And uh, if you're not on it in the springtime, you definitely want to be because it is deadly. 12 millimeter fully loaded, small bait again, three foot below the surface in uh, the middle of the night. Just spraying it with that fully loaded spray. I'm absolutely loving it. Fish number nine. Just look at them scales. Absolutely fin perfect again. Oh, let's just quickly show you the other side. Both sides, absolutely immaculate. Yeah, man, get on them urbans. Let's get some snaps, get her back.
That didn't take long. Left hand rod away this time. Yeah, we've got a proper nice uh, scale mirror in there. 20 plus. Oh yes, I'll take him. Get in. Let's get him on that. I reckon 24, 23. Fish number 10, my target fish. 24 pound, 6 ounce. <laughs> Just check this puppy out. Wow. Don't need to say very much about that, do I? What a session, man. 10 fish, I think this is my fourth 20 now. And just check out that scale pattern. I don't even know what to cost that, a linear? Get ready. Yeah, man. Get on that urban fully loaded. I am absolutely buzzing. Fat as a pig, this fish. Just check out that go. Steady take, couple of bleeps. Got, got chance to got my waders on, and then it started ticking off real steady how's he looking absolutely made up with that out past this now it's just a bonus I've had a personal best ghosty 28-2 and then just look at that, absolute banging fully, linear, whatever you want to call it, it's a banger, scaly banger. Let's get a few snaps, I know there's more to come. Mwah. Thank you girl, what a fish. Wow, That's, that is what we call a shrimp view, armadillo. Well, good morning guys, fifth and final morning of episode three, yeah man, what an episode, well enjoyed it, 10 fish, 13 runs, uh, PB ghosty, oh, still out there, see that one. Guys, that's it, time to get the rods in, I really hope you've uh, enjoyed this episode because it's been absolutely mega, we've seen some absolutely wicked fish, we've seen Gutsy come out at 44, and that's the biggest fish I've ever seen come out in the UK. Um, I best get these rods in because there's fish out here. Um, but yeah, man, yeah, I've had a PB ghosty. About th I think we've had four 20s, uh, three 19s, three or four 17s, uh, 14. I think 14's been smallest, so 
been an absolutely cracking session. 10 fish, 15 runs. Uh, lost a few fish, unfortunately, but that's what you get with the bad boy uh, adjusters. But yeah, man. But yeah, let's get let's get sorted, get, get these in and uh, get off home. If you have enjoyed this episode, please um, leave a comment down below. Uh, don't feel um, afraid to hit that subscribe button. But yeah, thanks for tuning in again, guys. Um, I massively appreciate it. Tight lines, wet nets. Until next time. That's my goodbye gesture. <laughs> Till next time. All packed up now. Just got all these few bits to get in. I think there's someone waiting to get in here. But yeah, man, buzzing. What a session. And yeah, be lucky in that competition, guys. Like I say, I'll be announcing that a month from when this is released. So yeah, best of luck, tight lines. Till next time. See you in the next episode. Well, timing, boys. 9.30, bang on. Let's get off.